Autodesk Subassembly Composer is a standalone program installed alongside Civil 3D that allows users to create custom subassemblies. Subassembly Composer is a very powerful tool that can create subassemblies for almost every use case. Subassembly Composer is broken up into a couple of different areas. You have the toolbox, the flowchart, the preview, and down in the bottom right corner, we have packet settings. Packet settings is where I'm going to give our new subassembly a name. I'm going to call this traffic separator. And then I'm going to give it a description of a Moritz Industrial Road concrete median. You'll notice as I enter a lot of the names in subassembly composer, a lot of information, I'm not going to use any spaces. I'll use a lot of underscores and things of that nature. And that's because uh, subassembly composer really dislikes spaces in some of the names. Unless it's just a regular description, I'm going to use single words with no spaces. The second tab is our input output parameters, and these are the uh, values, the variables that we can input uh, and output that can control the display of our subassembly. Uh, if you remember when I was playing with the depth of the materials in the previous lesson, what I was modifying was one of the input parameters. I'm going to create a new input parameter. I'm going to call it left width. I'm going to leave the type alone and the direction alone and just enter a default value of 0.4. I'm going to give it a display name. I'm just going to match my, uh, my name that I gave it. And then I'm going to click to create a new parameter. I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it right width. And take a look at the different types of outputs uh, or inputs. I can do integers, doubles, strings, grades, slopes, uh, a simple yes, no, Side super elevation. I'm going to leave this as a double since I do just want to input a, a single number. It's going to be an input, not an output. It's also going to be a default value of 0 0.4. And I'm going to give it a display name of right width. Our next tab allows us to define certain target parameters. Uh, target parameters for subassemblies are uh, just what they're called. They're targets that a subassembly can reach out and, uh, and see and attach to. For example, uh, using a daylight subassembly, uh, I would want to target a surface. If I'm going to daylight to a surface, I need to be able to tell the subassembly which surface. Uh, I also have a super elevation tab where I can enter super elevation information if I have any. And if I'm working with railway design, I have a can't tab. And I can put in custom error messages to display in the event viewer if needed.